Well, tonight, dozens gathered in Lawrence County to race for Peanut, a fundraising event for a one-year-old who died in a tragic accidental drowning. 7 News reporter Stephanie Borman has more. This little green chair in the stands at the Lawrence County Speedway belonged to one-year-old Logan Wade Sumerall, or Peanut, as his family and friends called him. He had his own seat that stayed here all the time. Peanut was actually almost always in the stands every week um, with his aunt and uncle. Now the folding chair sits empty, a silent reminder of a life lost too soon. Investigators say on August 14th, the child was found unresponsive in a bathtub. Sumerall was rushed to the hospital, but unfortunately did not recover and was taken off life support nearly a week later. Deputies tell 7 News he passed away on Wednesday. We've all been in tears. The whole community has taken it hard. Now the racetrack Pina enjoyed so much is giving back to his loved ones in a special way. His family didn't have life insurance, so we pitched in as the race family. Covers at the door, a silent auction. All the money raised at the races on Saturday are going towards the cost of the funeral service for the one-year-old. The owners of the Speedway say it's the least they could do for their smallest, yet most unforgettable fan. What is one thing you'll definitely miss about him? His little spike haircut that always stood up in those big blue eyes. In Lawrence County, Stephanie Borman, 7 News. Kimberly Collins, the child's mother, and her husband, Joshua Collins, were arrested on charges unrelated to the accidental drowning. Deputies say the family's home was infested with bugs and in a state of disarray. Due to the condition of the home, the other children have been placed with other family members.